Hi Brush Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. Normally my readings are love readings. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Libra. We're going to get two of these oracle cards and we're going to reveal them at the end unless it flips over on us then we'll reveal it now. Then um, we will break into the tarot deck. What does Libra need to know? I was called to use one of my older decks. It's a little warped, but Libra. What do we have for Libra? Well, it's warped. Libra. What do we have for the sign of Libra? April 16th through the 22nd. What does Libra need to know? Communication. Things could be happening very quickly. Oh. My hands are cold. All of a sudden, maybe you have cold feet. Maybe you're feeling cold. You know? Um, it feels like there's some criticism here. There's some indecision. Maybe you feel like you're being attacked by somebody. Maybe somebody's criticizing you for some reason. Maybe there's just too much drama going on this week. Uh, yeah, it looks like something, you know, there's a lack of action being taken in regards to love. It's like somebody may not be accepting love or offering love. You may not feeling like you may not be feeling loving it this week. Maybe you don't want love. Maybe you're not accepting love or offering love. Yeah, somebody is still healing, suffering. Look at the threes. All right. So, maybe you're working on self-love this week. Maybe you're not interested in a relationship right now because you're working on yourself. You're going through a rebirth. You're going through some sort of period of healing. So, maybe you're unable to offer love or accept love from anybody right now because you're working on yourself. You're healing. Okay, the suffering that you have been through is bringing you true growth. You're going through a period of growth, Libra. There is some heartbreak that is affecting you in a very big way. And you may feel like it's too much right now. It's just too much. It's not making you happy. You're trying to work on yourself because right now it's overwhelming. Something is overwhelming. You're trying to let go of whatever's been holding you back mentally. It's like you're trying to release the mental conflicts right now. So you're probably not accepting or offering love because it's all about me right now. And sometimes, you know, it has to be all about me. I think it's a good thing. I really do. I think that you guys are going through a period of rebirth. And it's a big one. It's a big period of rebirth. Yeah, it's like you're following your intuition. You know what's right for yourself, right? I know what's right for me. <clears throat> I feel as though you're seeing the situations in your life absolutely clearly. And in order for you to 
accept the love in the future or give the love in the future. You have to be pure and you have to be whole on the inside before you can do that. So I feel like you guys are working on your own soul. You're going through soul searching and soul healing. There is some kind of grief here that is being released. I think you're going through some sort of awakening, Libra. I want to get this zoomed in. I think things are happening very fast. I think this is a fast moving energy. Something is, is happening very quickly that is bringing you some sort of growth. And it may have hurt. Whatever is happening or has happened hurt. And this hurt has really made you heal. You know what I mean? It's made you become a different person. That's what I see. And you're unable to take action in regards to a relationship or inner relationship because you have to work you have to work on yourself right now. That's pretty prominent. It is. It is. Like because here there's no action in regards to love relationship because I'm working on me. I can't accept anything right now because it's about me. I feel as though you may be feeling like you just need to be alone. I need to be alone right now as I embark on a new spiritual journey. Okay, I feel like you guys are headed down a new path and alone. Okay, I have to do this on my own. I do. It's time for me to relight the fire within me and find my myself again find my dignity find my confidence find my self-esteem find my self-esteem find my 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 inner peace i feel like you guys um are giving up or have given up on a situation that wasn't successful okay you've given up on it you've released it and now you're going through your period of soul searching and introspection to get to where you need to be and whatever you are doing is serving you very well because, you know, I think that you guys are headed in the right direction very, very quickly. I feel like you're taking the lead. I feel like the passion is coming back that has been lost. You're bringing it back. You're doing the inner work to, do, to bring it back. I feel like you guys... Um, have lost hope in some sort of commitment that wasn't successful. You've lost the hope. You've, you've given up on it. And that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys are, you know, I just want to get one more. You're bringing back your own happiness. You are the light. You're seeing the light. You're seeing the light. I feel like there, there is some sort of ending here that you that is really allowing you, you're letting it end. You're letting, something is ending and you're not fighting it. It has ended or whatever. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to be happy. I feel like you guys are headed down a new journey you're ready to take risks you're ready to open up you're ready to let go of the past but in order for you to open up and be happy you have to go through this time of introspection you have to go through this time of healing and you guys are <clears throat> i feel like you are healing, even though this is reversed, with that Empress being the middle, which is the basis of my reading. You guys are going through a rebirth. You're going through a renewal after you had been stuck in a spot for quite a while. 
you've come to this realization that there's no more hope in this commitment, whatever it was. I feel like you've made a clear decision to move on from something. I, I, it's time for me to be happy again. I see the light. I see the truth. And I'm going to bring happiness back to my life. I feel like, you know, this is a judgment card. It says karma. Okay. I feel like you guys have been trying to... not accept the truth in a situation but you can't do that anymore i feel like that it's this is the truth and you're realizing the truth okay because this is in many decks it's labeled the truth okay and here it's labeled karma there's no more chances you've come to the realization that there's no more chances it's over something is over it's done This can also be a lack of awareness. So I feel like you guys have been trying to, you had been, or maybe you still are, okay? This is for hundreds and thousands of people. Somebody here does not want to accept the truth. Somebody has accepted the truth. It's going to be for, you know, however it resonates with you. You can't fight the truth. And I feel like some of you have come to the realization that something, there's no more chances. Yeah, okay. So some of you are working on restoring your self-worth, your self-esteem, bringing balance back to your life. Some of you are feeling a lack, a lack of happiness, a lack of gratitude. And some of you are working on restoring it, working on yourself again. But not there's a there's a feeling of I don't want to be alone. I mean with the with the with the hermit next to the nine of pentacles, somebody is codependent and they don't want to be alone. And they don't want to accept the truth of a situation. Some do, some don't. But somebody is being called to start a brand new journey and have faith in the future and accept the truth and somebody is somebody has made a clear decision to let something go and bring happiness back to their lives like this is for hundreds and thousands of people somebody has made the decision to move on somebody is still going through some soul searching they're going through a period of soul searching to bring back their confidence to bring back their self-worth somebody is not able to offer love to anybody right now because they aren't healed Somebody has healed. You know what I mean? Because there's, there's different people here watching this. Somebody is going through an ending, a completion. Something has ended that hurt. And now they have to go through this healing period and accept the truth even though they might not want to. So Libra, I feel like this is, you know, this is goes can go for several different people. Some of you are are healing and you you're going through a rebirth. Some of you are all of you are going through a rebirth, okay? All of you are because the middle card is the empress. So you're all going through a rebirth. You are. You're going through some sort of renewal. Some of you may be fighting it, some of you may not be, okay? I feel like this week there is some sort of ending completion that is undeniable and that you are being called to go on a new journey to start new and take risks okay this ending this ending is karmically destined to happen so that you can go down a new path some of you want to accept it with this reversed and some of you don't some of you don't want to hear this Some of you don't, some of you lack awareness. I mean, the judgment card is reversed as somebody is not accepting the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. I'm sorry to tell you that. Okay. 
somebody has moved on, <coughs> okay? Somebody has moved on and you may feel like you have to detach yourself. And it's not easy, right? You, maybe this person has detached themselves from you. You may be feeling cold-hearted. You may be feeling like you just need to be alone right now. That's what I feel. I feel, Libra, I feel, Libra, that something has ended and you are probably going to feel like I just need to be alone to work this out. To regain the structure in my life. To bring organization back to my life. I need to get through this on my own. So if you would just let me, that would be great. So I feel like this is a week of needing to be alone because something has ended and you cannot deny the truth. And you're not, some of you aren't, don't want to deny the truth. Some of you do. Some of, whatever is happening is pushing you in a new direction that is for your highest good. So I feel like this is a week where you need to do some soul searching to get to where you need to be. So yes, I feel like this is a week of soul searching and healing and rebirth and renewal. Oh my God, son of a bitch. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And regain control, okay? This is making the decision to clear your energy, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. Don't look back. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision that you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Like I said, this is a week of soul searching and healing and renewal. Take all the time you need. You're on the right path, Libra, you are. Whatever has ended, ended for a reason. You are about to embark on a new journey. You are. Trust the process. Please don't look back. Talk to you later.